Hello guys and welcome to Martha is Dead. We finally fi uh, finished finished Resident Evil 4. Sorry, we're already we're already off to that start. We finished Resident Evil 4 and I'm just ready to play another horror game. Hopefully one that will scare me so badly that I want to die and not anger me so badly that I want to die. Like how Resi 4 was, so hopefully there's a there's a stark difference there, and yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to be so scared, so let's just get into it. All right, here we go. Story of Martha is dead, and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling, unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, phys psychological trauma, and self-harm. The age is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be, full disclosure, I played a little bit of this before when I was trying to record it earlier and it, it just looked so bad. Um, the, the frames and the frames are bad. So I had to scrap the, the whole video and start again. So I might know some of what's coming up and let me just say, there's parts that I wasn't prepared for. Um, I didn't get very far in. It was maybe like 20 minutes into the game. But yeah, be warned. Definitely human disfigurement of bodies that I, I, even I wasn't prepared. I'm not really affected by gore. Was still like, oh, okay, we're doing this. This is part of the game. So if you have any like squeamish, like if you get squeamish at all, just keep that in mind. This might not be the game for you to play or watch someone play if you aren't okay with that kind of stuff. So full disclosure, I love horror. I love body horror. I think that's like the most, that's that's the stuff that gets me in horror and I think it's so good. And I think this game is gonna be doing this a lot. So full disclosure. If you know someone who's struggling, information and crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org. Find help. So, yeah, there you go. New chapter, The Legend. Summer. Mommy, oh. Will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady, I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful, yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Whew. Okay. So yeah, I there's going to be a lot of talking. I love that story. Every Sorry. time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Tale of the White Lady. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman. 
who was killed by the man she loved. Men. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. Haha. <laughs> they searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. He killed her though, huh? When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. Wild bedtime story. I spent almost three years with the Nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944 when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals or whatever else was in that damned place. Okay. So the mechanics are really cool here. It's, it's almost like a point and click. You have to hold the button. I I can I can deal with point and click. That's easy for me. I'm gonna be a pro game pro gamer in this one. Don't even worry about it. Oh, there we go. Reel off the film. There we go. Open the camera. Yes, ma'am. Remove the old roll of film. So much work. Put the new film in. As one does. Close the camera. Load the film. Mm hmm. I'm not going to remember any of this. I'm not retaining a single instruction. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Yes, let's let's do that. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Um, to move the lens? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, oh! I'm already moving it. Uh, what? Is that a person? I must help them. Was my 
my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. Oh, did she take off her clothes? I didn't even realize that. Is it weird that I find this pretty though? Like the music, the underwater, oh my god. I mean, the body's sad, but you know. <gasps> I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Ugh, so sad. I have to stay calm. Martha is not dead. She looks pretty dead to me. It's not possible. Sorry for your loss. It's not true. There's but... no need to worry. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. I have to stay calm. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Erie, run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Oh, that's such a... Oh my god. That whole story setup is so incredible. I mean, she still had time to be like, yo, it's me, Julia. She, she could have said that, let's be honest. Uh, Father, Son, Lord Holy Spirit. Life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands, I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited Love that song. in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. to light the candles in the hall people will be here soon all right what are we doing here mommy always finds something for everyone to do yeah mom hates us for some reason oh jesus he just, oh my god i played this part before and he still got me the saving way dude why are you just there dead no he's, he's fine he's chilling daddy must be devastated he loves me I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Ugh. Take that glass out of his hands. It's going to spill all over that rug. But oh my god, what a sad situation. I mean, I would 
I wouldn't go through all this. I would just say like, yo, it's me, Julia. Oh, don't touch her. What the hell? The moment I thought I saw. No, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Let's not look at that. Let's not. Let's not look at that. That's. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. What about this, an old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Does it? I'm not an artist. There's no reason to use the phone right now. Okay. Why? Why did you give me the option? I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. Let's pick something a little nicer. We got 90s rock, 90s grunge. What is this? Do not like it. Hmm. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. That it? That's all we got? There we go. There we go. I like this. I like this. Hope that's not copyright. Oh, she said something about a lighter. I'm dumb. Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Hmm. Where, where did I put it? Oh. There we go. I don't see that. I shouldn't have raised my hand right there. Should not have done that. That was not the move. This music's good, though. When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't mm. sit still for a second. I was gonna say, isn't Martha deaf? Like, why, why is she yelling? But I guess she's talking to the dad. What's up, mother? Hi. And Everything oh. always has to be perfect with her. What do you mean? Because she handed you flowers? What was that? What is that? Oh. London Calling? I love that song. Huh? I didn't get any of that. What's out there? Details. Look how pretty this is. This whole game is pretty. At this hour? My gosh. What's happening? Who closed the door? Oh no. Who's closing the door on me? Erich, Erich, wake up. She locked me out? Appropriate to sleep here, of all places. What? Hmm? She locked yeah. me out! I must have fallen asleep. Mom? Can I... What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? No. Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. 
Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irene. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're oh crazy. God. I'm the crazy one? Me? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. Mm. I miss you. Poor dad. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Hmm. Okay, so they're German. Mother didn't seem to Sorry, suffer let me, from the let me situation. Hold that thought. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Uh, that's such a sad... Like, that's such a sad way to think. That's such a... Uh, all because I guess her mom is pushing this idea that everything was her fault. So she's better off dead. That's, uh, that's sad. Her dad seems to really care about her, though. Like, this whole thing is just, like, her guilt weighing down on her, it seems. I think that's where the, that's, like, the whole point of this horror game is, like, it's her guilt that's haunting her. Unless I'm totally mistaken. And there's gonna be some crazy twist. This just seems like a representation of her guilt, almost. Thank you. 
warning, guys. If you don't like human dismemberment, click out now. Click away. My my one and only warning. This. Here we go. Click out now. there. Hmm. Lovely. So that's going to be your one warning. I don't know any other gore that happens after this, so be prepared. That's the kind of stuff that you're in for. <gasps> it was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. Mm -hmm. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Girl. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. I can't. Can I move? No. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago and now. Hmm. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Hmm. The room, new chapter. So, Martha was deaf, right? I wonder if they know sign language. Because when uh, Julia and Martha's mom were, she thought she was talking to Martha. She instead, like, sign or said the words really slowly to read her lips instead of just signing. Like, are you okay? So I wonder if they actually Martha's know sign friend. language. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mommy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. I kind of want you to wear your clothes. I think that's appropriate. I don't really Can like I be the Martha secret. Without her clothes, mommy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. Well, I could wear Martha's clothes instead in no. the other wardrobe. Oh, I can choose my outfit. Ooh. I like this green. Riddler core. Nice. Mommy can go kick rocks for all I care. Oh gosh, if mommy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. What? It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. You're not gonna tell your friend? Nanny will be visiting me soon. That's that's nice, I guess. I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me. Mm. The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. All right, a nice little old heater there. Lovely, lovely yard, lovely garden we have. I always keep my trinket box locked. Okay, where's the key? Key? Did I check over here? Hmm. Nice open space. Very lovely, lovely house you have here. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. But you need a key, of course. Just smash it against the wall. It'll break. 
This game's got me doing too much. Just throw it on the floor. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Not that dog. What that dog doing? Um. I could have sworn there was like a key around here. Let me see. Oh, it's probably in my bag. Everything I need is always in my bag. Like a key, hopefully. B to open bag. You have opened Julia's bag. You can find objects that Julia always carries with her along any pick, along with any picked up during the game. I read that right. Objects are listed at the bottom left. Select an object to use or analyze it. Now try selecting the key or the map. Um, okay. The key to my trinket box. Ooh, let's go. Secrets. It's an interesting way to spell Julia. I kind of like it. That's really Here pretty. Here is my diary. More people should spell it that way. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lafe more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Lovely artist. So, she's German. I thought... Okay, from what I knew about this game, I thought this was an Italian-made game. So I just assumed this was taking place in Italy. The characters are German. I'm realizing that now, right? So are they living in Italy right now, or are they still in Germany? I don't know. I don't think it matters. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Aww. Sad. Yes, she is. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Oh. We get on Martha's I'm side. Not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? Talk and smack. Okay, okay. I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. Dude, the light is open. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Just say something. This this whole idea of pretending to be Martha. Not you you can't go your whole life not talking. It's got to end. And the longer she tries to play it off, the worse it's going to get, I think. Locked. Okay. Oh, shift to run. I keep forgetting that. Whee. What we got here? It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Oh, was that not? I thought we were like sharing different sides in the other. Oh, okay. I'm confused. Layout. 
house layouts confuse me. Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. Florence? Never heard of her. Mm. You know this house is echoey. There's no carpets anywhere. Did I go in a circle? Oh, Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Downstairs, okay. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you. <laughs> this I poor promise. dad. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is a sin. I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Ay, ay, ay. This mom sucks. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Lovely house you have here. K to see objectives. Ooh, what's all this? Things to do. Martha always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her so no one will get suspicious. Read the newspaper dated 18th of July. Might be on the table. What's this? Might put one of my photos in this empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. Things to do. I always like to have my camera with me. When you least expect it, the opportunity for a perfect shot presents itself. Okay. Can I press K again? There we go. So this mom, I've got a bone to pick with her. Like, I'm sure people could make the argument like, oh, she's being so aggressive because she's trying to ignore the reality that one of her daughters is dead it doesn't even seem like that to me like it doesn't seem like she's ignoring the problem it seems like she's just over it like like she wants everyone else to get over it she i don't know bad bad mother behavior i i don't even see her actions as like a, a grieving response she's just being a jerk like she never cared about her daughter in the first place like, it's more convenient now that Brutal she's gone. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. It could have just been an accident, honestly. Firm bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Mm. Julia, Julia K. K. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother... Erich the father and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm. Departing Two days. from the property of the deceased. Food registration. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. I don't know what a gram or a kilo is, but I wish them both well. Is that bread? I just leave bread out? Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Honey and milk. Is that a thing? People really just drink honey and milk? And bread for breakfast? Okay, I, I guess. Doesn't sound very filling for Julia. For Julia to take more and more photos, Dad. Oh. 
supportive. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. There are so many of them out here. You could do that. Chocolate, a privilege for few people in these times. Crazy, wartime. There Ugh. might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. Okay. I always put crumbs on it for them. Let's check it out. Ooh, lemon tree. I didn't know you guys were Mexican. Hell yeah. This is so pretty. Even though I had to put down the quality a little bit, it's still a beautiful game. Um, how do I do this? Camera? Hello? You're about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940 roller cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game's story. Okay. So I know they're doing a giveaway of this exact camera for like promoting the game or something or celebrating the release and I didn't apply for it. I kind of wish I did now like this, this is such a cool looking camera and I love cameras. I love old cameras. I love physical copy cameras that you develop and stuff. Copy cameras. You, you, you get it. No one knows the correct terminology. Whatever. <laughs> Um, press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. Okay. Um, base, silver. What is this? Ooh, I kind of like the silver. Silver is kind of cool. Um, stop observing. Look for the subject you want to photograph. Press to continue. Okay. I think I get it. You're about to take your first picture. To amplify the simulation, the picture previews displays. I got this. I got, don't even worry. Don't even worry. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll mash enough buttons that I'll eventually get it. After closing this window, adjust the camera, then press space to shoot. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, no, he looked at the camera. I wanted like a nice side angle. He looked, he looked right at me. Okay. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Ooh. A little stuttery there. I Daddy won't... recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Aww. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. What a terrible time to live. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for father, food is never scarce. People are starving. Ugh. What is that? Oh, it's like... Okay, it's wine. That, that did not look like wine. over here so quiet lorenzini haberdashery five meters of gray cotton fabric six meters of white linen fabric four meters of green satin delivered on june 5th 1944 in the event of an issue contact us on the number 6987 and this red fabric it's not been mentioned could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? My grandpa has that same lamp. Or he used to, rest in peace, but he... What is it with old men having this exact green lamp? Does anyone in your family have a lamp like that? Let me know. Because I see it so many, time in, so many times in old people houses. These they all have one, just look. Can be of use to you. For what? Mummy's sewing machine. She learned how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. That'll do it. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? What medicine is that? You know, everyone was coked up in these days. Can this I say that on YouTube? It's not new Sorry. to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. 
Okay. Anyways, let's, um, go over here. There's a camera stand. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This Ooh. is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Okay, they want me to use the dark room. They said I'm playing around too much. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Hmm. Stupid war. Let people do their passion. This is what's so cool about developing old photos. I've never had to do this before in real life, but it just seems like such a interesting process. Oh, I, I definitely did not read that. I'm just clicking buttons. I'm so sorry. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. I think I'll, I'll get the hang of it. You'll show me what to do. I can't read all that. Develop, yeah, develop this photo. This enlarge allows you to customize your photos even more. Um, use the controls to move the paper on the bench and to adjust the mag magnification and focus. You're telling me things? I'm not retaining it. I'm sorry. Adjustment until you're happy. Press space. That's all I need to know. I think. Is that all I need to know? Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, here we go. Look, there's buttons on the side. I got this. What is... Okay, we're... I had it perfect and then I fumbled. Okay. Oh, it's like a back and forth adjust and large whole thing. Gotcha. When the red filter is removed, the image is focused onto the paper. Gotcha. Oh, I could have like tilted it a little better. Um, now what? Did I do it right? Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear! Exclamation mark. To achieve the ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined. Oh god. Hopefully it's not too fast. Um... Okay, this is easy. I'm stressing for nothing. In real life, immersion in the developer is followed by a wash, a stop bath, and a second wash. These additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Thank you so much. Here's your printed photo. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. Not a bad photograph. Ugh. It seems that the camera works perfectly. It's a little off-center. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Marcus My bad. Pray. Okay. Put it in the album, though. We, I, we don't need to redo it. Just, just cut the white edges off with the, with the scissors. She wanted me to take a picture. I think I know where. Camera stand. Here we go. She wanted a goofy face. Is my camera black? I thought I changed camera it. Camera set up with the self timer. Changed it to silver. Oh, okay. Papa squat. Uh, I'm so mad. I did not apply for the the raffle to win one of these cameras. I'm so mad about it. I really would have liked one. Does anyone know where I can buy one? Uh Smile, I guess. She said do a koofy face. Koofy? Goofy. Why was that not an option? Um, 
and I guess we'll go develop it. I guess, I suppose. I can do that, I'm a pro now. Girl, why are you tripping into the door frame like that? Startling me. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. All right, well, let's get to it. Thing at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film, a kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Whatever that means. Gotcha. That should look better. If it's off center, come on now. It is a little, I see it now. Ugh. This girl's got the heart of an artist, heart of a photographer. Okay. Ugh, that looks creepy. Gotcha. <laughs> that looks like face app. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Hmm. Interesting way to look at it. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when... After awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her, and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down... I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Why did she envy her? I think it's just of a guilt talking. The, door is locked. the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual. Then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. We're sneaking out? New chapter of the rules, the same day, 11.30 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one here. Oh, I'm gonna leave that one here. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, yeah, I'm feeling this story. Sorry if I have to be a little quiet every now and then. It's just, there's a lot of talking and I want to be able to hear it and process it for myself as well. And I know it's probably annoying if I start talking over it. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.